Thank you.
thing I've ever sung in my life. It's, it's amazing how, you know, I praise my Lord and Savior for this because it's just, I was nervous the whole time and as soon as I came in, I had this sense of calm. And so, and thank you so many warm friends from Westchester and Lancaster. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so first I want to thank my Lord Jesus Christ and my Savior uh, who's been with me every step of the way. Um, little story about my life. Um, I was always told um, that I would never accomplish anything in life. And um, I wasn't even supposed to be born. <laughs> and God had a different plan. He gave a little boy who had autism a voice to sing. And the little boy came and sang, got a couple of voice lessons, and the journeys opened up all the way to a master's degree in voice. And I'm just amazed. So I want to thank a couple of people. First of all, my friends from Westchester and my friends from Lancaster from church and all, all around, thank you so much. Um, to my voice teachers who are not here, Brian Barch, my first elementary school teacher, um, Heidi Shannon, my first college voice teacher, and Robert Iacovello, my second college teacher. Um, thank you so much for all that you've done. I also want to thank um, my vocal mentor who um, is a dear friend. He's, we're all from Lancaster, and he's been singing at the Met for over 20 years now. And he is in his 80s and still sings. And he has been a great friend. Um, John Derenkamp, thank you so much. Um, appreciate that. Um, I also want to thank the faculty, um, Dr. Bullock, who's here, um, Dr. Lee, and Professor Scarlatta for the voice teachers. Um, I also want to thank my hit music history teachers, my music theory teachers, all them that have helped me on this journey. Um, in two years from now, um, I'm going to be taking a master's in choral conducting. And so I'm pretty excited to work with Dr. David DeVinney, who is one of the most renowned conductors in this area. Um, he's quite strict, but he is well known. And so he is a, I'm so looking forward to that in the fall. Um, and thank you, Heiji. This has been a journey. Paige is going to go for her third master's degree in, in, in piano, University of Cincinnati. Third master's degree. I thought I was crazy going for two, but she's going for three. And so thank you for all the time that you've been with me. Um, and so, um, Dr. Rowe, thank you. Oh my gosh. It's been crazy. Now, a lot of you, especially the studio, know that I'm pretty crazy sometimes. And he has yelled at me quite a lot. <laughs> but 
I'll tell you what, my voice has improved so, so much. I know I got a long ways to go, but it has greatly improved, and I hope that I made you proud tonight. So thank you, Dr. Rome. I really appreciate it. Dear friend, dear friend, Dr. Rome, who I will still work with these next two years, um, and then last, my faculty. Um, if it wasn't, my grandfather's not here tonight. He's a little bit sick, but uh, my grandma's here, Ruth Heidecker. Can you wave your hand? Come on. <laughs> Call her mom. And uh, she's been with me every step of the way, and a single mom. I didn't have a dad in my life. Um, I had a single mom, and grandparents, and great-grandparents, um, but... Mom, you have been there every step of the way. And it's been a wonderful journey. It's been a wonderful journey. Um, I, I was just, it's, it's amazing how um, everything came together and how my mom brought me through and a single mom, and she's had a tough life. I won't get into that. But, but thanks to you, my life is full of beautiful <laughs> music. <laughs> thank you. And my sister in Maryland and all my friends from Facebook, thank you so much. Um, that's all I've got. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> It's a, it's, it, it was a very tough program, but I, it has a different variety in it, and I certainly enjoyed it and hope you enjoyed it as well. And I'll be out in the back, and um, thank you so much. God bless you, and thank you so much. And have a great summer. Thank you so much. <laughs>